The moon is our closest companion. It deserves admiration for its timeless grace and enchanting presence. Casting its gentle luminous glow upon the night, it weaves a celestial tapestry of wonder. This is our moon that has inspired myths, folklore and countless romantic tales. However, it has long been shrouded in mystery. Despite its proximity, the moon remains a cosmic enigma, concealing secrets that continue to elude complete understanding. Scientific studies have only deepened the mysteries around the moon. Moonquakes recorded by Apollo mission seismometers revealed unexpected reverberations as ringing a bell. This has sparked debates about the moon's internal composition, ranging from a hollow structure to the possibility of an alien spaceship. Is the moon really hollow from inside? Is it really an artificial spaceship? Join me today and we will explore the hollow moon theory and get some realistic information about the moon. As technology is advancing, new mysteries about the moon are emerging, but the moon retains its allure as a celestial puzzle waiting to be fully unraveled. The moon's surface, which is full of craters, holds a record of cosmic encounters, each scar telling a story of ancient impacts that shaped its landscape. The hollow moon conspiracy theory has influenced not only fiction writers but also the music and film industry. This theory suggests that the moon is not a solid celestial body but rather a hollow structure. There are empty spaces inside the moon and that it is a product of an alien civilization. The spaceship moon hypothesis generally corresponds with beliefs in UFOs or ancient astronauts. But who started all these conspiracy theories? The idea of hollow planets, including the discussion of hollow Earth, can be traced back to 1962. Astronomer Edmund Halley suggested that the Earth consisted of a shell about 500 miles or 800 km thick, two inner concentric shells and an innermost core. In a very similar tone, modern variations of the conspiracy theory suggest that the inner empty spaces inside the moon are occupied by aliens having advanced technologies. The idea of hollow moon was first floated by H.G. Wells in his science fiction book called The First Men in the Moon. The concept was probably borrowed from 1741 fiction novel Niels Klim's Underground Travels, which was written by Ludwig Holberg. Since the late 1970s, the hypothesis has been endorsed by a number of conspiracy theorists. What is really behind the hollow moon theory? Let's check. Between 1969 and 1977, NASA deployed seismometers on the surface of the moon in its Apollo missions. This was to investigate shock waves from the moon quakes, something like earthquakes here on Earth. The objective was to measure how long the reverberations last, how powerful they are, and how big the shock waves get. This would reveal what the moon is made of. On November 20, 1969, Apollo 12 astronauts crashed the ascent stage of the lunar module on the moon's surface. It impacted about 40 miles or about 64 km away from the landing site. With the force of one ton of TNT, the resulting shockwave built up and peaked in just 8 minutes and then it took an hour to fully dissipate. In Apollo 13 mission, NASA astronauts impacted the moon about 85 miles or 135 km away from Apollo 12's lunar surface experiment packages. This one crashed on the moon's surface with a force of 11 and half tons of TNT. This translated into a seismic impact that peaked after 7 minutes, but the shock waves were 30 times greater and lasted about 4 hours. These vibrations were far longer than any equivalent vibrations would last here on Earth. During this moonquake, waves of energy reverberated through the moon. NASA reported that the moon rang like a bell for almost an hour. This led to arguments that the moon must be hollow from inside, like a bell. This strange result forced scientists to think differently about the moon and its composition. And of course, the promoters of the hollow moon conspiracy theory got some strong evidence. Since that time, NASA's lunar seismology experiments have shown that the lunar body has shallow moon quakes that act differently from quakes on Earth. This is due to differences in texture, type and density of the planetary strata. However, there is no evidence of any large empty space inside the moon. But nevertheless, conspiracy theorists took the moons ringing like a bell as more evidence that moon is artificial and has a hollow core. But the hollow moon story doesn't start or end here. There's more to it. The most infamous theory of hollow moon emerged in 1970 when two Soviet scientists published a study in popular press speculating that the moon might be the creation of alien intelligence. The scientists were Michael Wassen and Alexander Sherbakov, who worked for the Soviet Academy of Sciences. This caused a real stir in the West, and claims were made that the moon was perhaps planted by aliens several thousand years ago using a comet. This article was published by Sputnik, which is something like Reader's Digest over here. It was later found that this hypothesis was merely an attempt by the Soviet Union to undermine and ridicule the United States. 
Later, the authors reportedly admitted that they wrote the paper as a fiction and not as a scientific study. But the general public could not stop thinking about the moon being hollow and that it was placed in orbit by aliens who have far more advanced technology than us. And there's more proof for the curious people. Conspiracy theorists who claim that the moon is hollow and a spaceship towed in its place by ancient aliens also cite a writer by American science fiction author Isaac Asimov. In 1965, Asimov wrote, What makes a total eclipse so remarkable is the sheer astronomical accident that the moon fits so snugly over the sun. The moon is just large enough to cover the sun completely so that a temporary night falls and the stars spring out. The sun's greater distance makes up for its greater size and the result is that the moon and the sun appear to be equal in size. There is no astronomical reason why moon and sun should fit so well. It is the sheerest of coincidence, and only the Earth among all the planets is blessed in this fashion. Now this was strong evidence for conspiracy theorists that observations by Asimov on solar eclipses proves that the moon is artificial and not a natural satellite of Earth. They claim that these near-perfect eclipses cannot be just a coincidence. There must be some extraterrestrial force or spaceship pilot who makes it possible. So who drove the moon to its current position in the solar orbit? Mainstream astronomers reject this interpretation. They suggest that the angular diameters of sun and moon vary over time and do not actually perfectly match during the eclipses. However, they agree that this is very unlikely to have such perfect balance of conditions on Earth. So do these conspiracy theorists have any other evidence to prove that the moon is a hollow artificial spaceship? Let's check some more scientific facts. Conspiracy theorists also rely on the fact that the density of the moon is much less than the Earth. Scientifically, the mean density of the moon is 3.3 grams per centimeter cube, whereas the Earth has a density of 5.5 grams per centimeter cube. This fact is often quoted by conspiracy theorists in support of their hollow moon claim. Mainstream scientific studies argue that this difference in density is due to the fact that the upper mantle and crust of the Earth are less dense than its heavy iron core. There is no definite consensus in the scientific community as to how the moon was formed. That gives another reason to conspiracy theorists to support their claim that the moon is not a natural satellite of Earth, but it is an artificial spaceship built by some ancient alien civilization. We all have learned since our childhood that our moon was formed when rapidly spinning Earth expelled a portion of its mass. Another scientific theory suggested that the moon may have been a planetoid captured by strong gravity of Earth. But the most convincing theory is the giant impact hypothesis or the big splash, which suggested that a Mars-sized celestial object struck the Earth approximately 4.5 billion years ago. This impact created a ring of debris which collected into a single natural satellite we call that moon. Although this theory is stronger than previous ones, it is not without loopholes. In addition to the seismic experiments by NASA, there are other compelling points to support that the moon is not hollow. The first one is called the moment of inertia factor and the second one is the Doppler gravity experiment. The moment of inertia parameters indicate that the core of the moon is both dense and small, with the rest of the moon consisting of material with a nearly constant density. This is a number ranging from 0 to 0 0.67 and represents the distribution of mass in a spherical body. If the entire mass is considered at central core, the number is 0, whereas this number is 0 0.67 for a perfectly hollow sphere. For a spherical body with uniform mass distribution, this number is 0 0.4. Scientific calculations indicate that the moment of inertia factor for Earth is 0 0.33, while the factor for Moon is 0 0.39. This number is very close to the value for a solid object with constant density. The Doppler gravity experiment by Lunar Prospector in 1998 mapped the gravity field of the Moon from low altitudes. This was the first truly operational gravity map of the Moon. The objective of the experiment was to study the surface and internal mass distribution of the Moon. The instruments measured the Doppler shift in the S-band tracking signal as it reaches Earth which can be converted to spacecraft accelerations that would further be processed to provide estimates of lunar gravity field. The moon's gravitational interactions with Earth, including tides, are consistent with the mass distribution of a solid body. If the moon were really hollow, these gravitational effects would differ significantly from observed phenomena. 
as we have seen in this video both the scientific community and the conspiracy theorists have their own claims to support their respective points anomalies cited by proponents of the hollow moon theory such as unusual craters or surface features can be explained through natural geological processes these anomalies are often misinterpreted or selectively presented without considering the alternative non hollow explanations while the hollow moon theory has persisted as a fascinating concept within certain circles it lacks empirical support and faces big challenges when subjected to scientific scrutiny i believe that skepticism and critical thinking are essential in the realm of scientific studies as we continue to explore the cosmos and push the boundaries of our understanding it is crucial to distinguish between imaginative hypotheses and well supported scientific conclusions we are going to the moon to inspire the next generation to advance our understanding of the universe so that we can share the benefits with all here and now the moon with its solid structure and rich geological history remains a testament to the wonders of our universe but it still invites further exploration and discovery let the science and fiction do their job let the conspiracy theorists enjoy their passion everyone has the freedom and right to express their opinion for me and you let's immerse ourselves in the serene beauty of the night sky embrace the stillness of the night and enjoy the shining moon observe different faces of the glowing moon with naked eyes or with a pair of binoculars or even capture the moon's beauty with a smartphone or camera and then share the wonderful experience with friends family and loved ones whether the moon is hollow or solid it is natural or artificial forget for some time and enjoy the silvery spell of the bright moonlight sing a song dance for some time write a poem What are your thoughts on the hollow moon theory? Please let us know in comments below. Thanks for watching. My name is Pawan and you are watching Astro Crescent. If you like the content, please like, subscribe and share this video. If you would like to suggest any topic, please drop us a line in the comment section below. See you next time. Until then, please stay safe, happy and blessed.